Hey there, Ben Lipper here. I have an awesome robotics match I want to share with you. One minute, over 100 points. Go ahead and check it out. Alright, so if you're looking at this robot, you're thinking, hey, you know, maybe I'm interested in building something like that. You know, maybe it looks pretty good. Um, and you just want to kind of get some inspiration, there's a link out of this video. Um, I'll send you some up-close pictures of kind of like how this robot works so you can get some inspiration, build your own version of it or whatever you want. I think something that I really enjoy about this robot is it has a catapult. So a lot of flywheels store up their energy and angular velocity of the wheels, and like that's great. But for some reason with Vex, at least for the robots I've built, it hasn't been quite as consistent as a catapult. Now, you know, there's certainly some gray area. There's flywheels that are more consistent than catapults, and catapults that are more consistent than flywheels. But for what I've found, more of the time, a catapult will get it in than a flywheel. So, at least in my testing, just thought I'd share with you, that's what I've found. So, um, especially if you haven't tried a catapult, highly encourage you to do so. They're super cool. They're not that complicated. I actually found my catapult robot to be simpler than my flywheel robot, which was a super nice surprise. So, like I said before, if you're interested in something like this, there's a link under this video. You're welcome to click it, kind of get some up-close images of what this is going to look like and how um, I built mine, model it after it, or whatever you want to do. Other than that, though, thank you so much for watching. As always, like and subscribe, and I look forward to seeing what you build.